The word empowerment is a little triggering for me because I have seen it used uh, so often. I've seen it used, but not actually put into practice. So I'll give you give you the, the the standard example, which is you have a leader that stands up in front of their team or stands up in front of the organization, and they say, "You are empowered to make the or, the the decision that is right for this team or right for the customer." Right. Well, you can tell people they're empowered all day long, but until they feel empowered, until they operate in an, in an organization or in a type of culture where they f- genuinely feel like if I uh, make this decision that is not quite in line with our policies and procedures because I want to take care of somebody because of the context of the situation and they feel confident making that decision, knowing that their boss is going to support that decision, even if it was the wrong decision, it's okay. We can talk about it. I know why you did it. Let's let's have a chat about it and see how we can do it better next time. If the, Unless they feel that that is the response they're going to get, they are not empowered. So empowerment is not just a word that you throw out. It's not something you tell people that they are. It has to be something that people feel that they are. And that takes time. And it takes example uh, by the leader. It takes the leader uh, recognizing when somebody has made a decision, uh, even the smallest thing where they have taken on a little bit of initiative, where they have tried something new or tried something that they weren't told to do, recognizing it, celebrating it, letting people know that's exactly what we want to see. Then people know, oh, okay, I guess it's okay for me to do that too. And they try new things. They come up with a new idea. They share something that might be stupid, but maybe it'll work. That's what empowerment means.